I started to find that I was feeling empty inside and I needed something to fill me up. So yeah, so I was born and raised in a Christian home and I, I enjoyed the Christian home. I enjoyed, you know, the whole the whole religious experience and the whole um, the whole reading of the word and, and the Bible stories and uh, everything that came along with it. I really loved Jesus Christ. I I I you know I prayed every night with my mother. I got baptized young as well. I was 12 years old when I got baptized. At the same time, however, I was also raised in a public school. I also went to public schools all my life. So in going to public schools, you know, there was always like this, this battle. There was always like this back and forth. And uh, in my public schools, I started to basically see, uh, see a difference between what the Bible, what the Word of God was telling me and what I was learning at home and what the world was saying. And so, for example, I mean, in school they teach you, you know, atheism, like they teach you the Big Bang Theory. And so um, I started to think, you know, how does that play into the Bible, you know? And I started to have this type of dichotomy in my mind, you know, like what is the truth? Is it what the Bible says about the beginning of our earth? The beginning of the earth and where you know where we came from or is it what the what the school tells the scientists say and stuff and so i started hanging out with the wrong crowd because of my public upbringing i started to uh, meet people that were you know partying uh, drinking alcohol smoking marijuana drugs etc that led to selling marijuana on campus so some of the campus students would actually come to me to buy and purchase marijuana. So one of the things that selling drugs led to was uh, like parties. I started partying a lot, of course, because with the drug lifestyle, you have a lot of friends that like to you know, consume alcohol and you're dancing and you're listening to music. And I remember one particular party was there was about 300 people that came to this party that we put together. Um, and we were drinking and, you know, doing all sorts of stuff. It, at, the end of the at the end of the party, we, we were just sitting there and we were just like, everybody had left, the house was a disaster, it was a mess. And I was so like down, I felt like, you know, even though like all these people are here and now everybody's gone, I'm by myself. And so I started to find I started to find that I was so empty inside and I started to look and, and try to find something that would fill me up. So at this point, I'm thinking, oh my goodness, like what am I doing with my life? The Word of God is here. The Word of God is open to us. We can read it. God is real. He's love. Everything that my parents had ever told me and I had ever understood of God growing up started to flash into my mind. And so, I want to read this quote because I think it's important for us to understand. It states, Again, Satan sees the Lord's servants burdened because of the spiritual darkness that enshrouds the people. He hears their earnest prayers for divine grace and power to break the spell of indifference, carelessness, and indolence. Then, with renewed zeal, he plies his arts. He tempts men to indulge of appetite or some other form of self-gratification and thus benumbs their sensibilities so that they fail to hear the very things which they most need to learn. And this is exactly what is going on with the youth today. This is exactly what is going on with the adults today. This is exactly what is happening every single day with every single human being out there. Every time that we have these choices to make, we have the devil, the enemy of souls, just trying to battle against God's, God's spirit, which puts this feeling inside of us that we need something greater, something bigger. Those inclinations of trying to find Christ were his, was his own prompting, was his own calling inside of me. He put that seed there. And so that's what I used to basically cling on to. I go to Jesus Christ, I go to his word, 
I kneel before him in prayer and that is the only source of life I need that has filled my heart up and I know that that is exactly what the Bible says and what everybody that's out there doing these things needs as well.